Well, it's a sunny day here in Idaho. Um, what we're doing this afternoon is I've got a tent that has some rips and tears in it. Um, it needs to be repaired for a guy. So I'm going to walk you through the process of what I do on tent repairs. Um, it's a wall tent, so first thing I'll do is I'll roll this tent out and uh, show you how we're going to tackle it. Well, I was told this tent had some tears in the corners. The small tear there on that corner. Another small one here on this corner. And then there's a small tear right here. Not too bad. They said this tent was frozen when they took it down. And had some tears get in it from the, that. There's a tiny one right here. Let's check the other side. All right, a little bit here on the ridge top. A little tear here above the stove jack. And a little one here on the front end. All right, we're gonna have to build a new flap for this. So we're gonna measure it. It's like the existing flap. It's about 21 and a half. They closed it with snaps. So it looks like about we'll finish at 23. Now if this tent was sitting on a table, I wouldn't worry so much about this, but where it's sitting on the ground it makes it pretty uneven and level. I'm just gonna stick a board like this underneath the canvas to give me a flat surface to work on. And you'll see why that is important comes into play here in just a minute when I go to put a patch on there see now I have a flat a flat surface area to work with here when I go to put my uh, patch on all right I'm gonna uh, mark out where my patch is gonna go I'm gonna use chalk chalk's not permanent all right I got my spot marked out I got my patch cut I'm just gonna glue in right there I'm just gonna put some cardboard around the edges here so I don't get glue all over the rest of the tent. I just got a can of spray adhesive that I use. Of course, there's my patch. It's kind of a contact adhesive, so we want to let it sit for a minute before we stick it down. You know, some people say, gee, a lot of those tears are tiny, you know, inch or two long. Why are you even worried about them? Well, the reason is this wall tent is made out of cotton, and cotton is subject to fraying and unraveling. And essentially what will happen is one of those little tears will catch onto something and it'll turn into a bigger tear and get bigger and bigger and bigger. It'll fray and unravel. So that's why we're going to patch them now. A stitch in time saves nine is a very true statement when it comes to wall tents. All right, so our patch is set for a little while. I think it's starting to get pretty tacky. So we're just going to turn it over, lay it on there. A lot of people just glue it and they leave it at that. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to sew these to make sure they don't come undone. So I'll show you how that works. Just stick with me on the process. I'll go around the rest of the tent now and put my patches on, then we'll meet back up when I'm ready to start sewing. Okay, this will probably be a little bit noisy, but I've got a big old patch right here. I'm gonna show you how I sew these patches on. I do more than just glue them. I find that if you just glue them, uh, they'll come undone. They're just not nearly as effective. So basically I'm gonna start and go right down an edge. Just like that. And I'll just turn it back my way up across it to that other edge. And I'll come back down. And then back up. Zigzag your way across that whole patch. The key to doing this is you want to make sure that you don't have part of your tent 
underneath here that you can't see and you end up sewing a wall or the door or something underneath your patch and then you got to unpick it. It's pretty frustrating. But pretty simple. That's how I uh, sew my patches. So I'll just work my way through the whole tent and, and sew all those patches as I go. So remember the stove flap had been burnt so I built a new one. Got it sewed here. I knew what it needed to finish. So I'm just going to sew it right on where that other one went. And the stove jack rain flap will be replaced. There, got the stove jack on, or the stove jack rain cover on.